The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Can you hear me? Yeah. The bath I can hear you. What's the bath? But, but well, uh, it's not big. En- okay, so they have this incentive money that is derived from everybody's favorite food and beverage tax. The, tax. the money that dun, they're dun, giving dun. to Target, giving a million dollars to Target. Right. Some of that money is also going to the developer at 30th and Broadway that Tom Marks is a part of. I asked uh, the director of administrative services if Bed Bath and Beyond would qualify for that, and he said no. So the building wasn't big enough. I'm like that building's not big enough. What? That's a big building. It's not big enough? Yeah, that's what he said. Wow. So he also said that they are this close to announcing another big box. He just wouldn't tell me where, and he wouldn't mm. tell me who. I think which it's was Home a Goods. Total tease move. That's totally. You think it's Home Goods I'm a shop go? That out of my ass, but it's, it's a shop go. I think it's going to be a shop go. Is my guess. I thought that was like RL Lumber or whatever. Oh, it's yeah, but they just because they, they buy it, that doesn't, doesn't mean they have to put a lumber yard there okay. because they have a property management division and they also have their lumber yards. Okay. So they could do that. Incidentally, political side note: uh, Jason Plummer, who is uh, the one of the uh, heirs of that whole uh, lumber empire, is also a state senator, and he's also throwing his hat in to be in the ring to be the next uh, leader of the Illinois GOP. Interesting. Hmm. So you, people aren't happy with Don Tracy. Real quick, and yeah. this is taking it back, and I know we talked, but why did we give Target a million dollars? Because you want a Target, and every other I don't care woman wants a Target. I mean, it's going to be nice. But they get, It'll but, draw. But, It'll and, draw. And, but, yes, the yeah, sales but, tax revenue will come rolling back so in then do because they, of that. So then do they kind of repay that, or do With they? With their sales tax money, yes. Okay. All right. well, that money doesn't go back into the fund, though. No. Which it should. It, it goes should. Fund. Yes, should. It'll go okay, we did talk about fund. that. Yes, I just wanted to touch fund. on we that. We talked because, about it. Yeah. That, yeah, because yeah. that's not something that you say without a little bit of discussion. Anyway, onward. Home goods and they are going to have, and you know what? They are going to sell groceries at Target. I didn't think they were going to, but they are. They are? Yes. They will, but it won't be like. It's not a super Target. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully it's better than the Galesburg Target, which yeah. is the saddest Target I've ever seen. Ga- Galesburg and Burlington have crap targets. Really? Is the Target going to Like Galesburg's basketball team, their Target is crap. Whole hey, tell me what you think. Dob, that was for you. Tell me what you think of this. So you know we have like Super Walmart and you know Super Targets and whatever and Gun. Super Bob. Not super Bob. <laughs> but yeah. okay, so County Market. I think they should do like a Super oh. County Market and call it County Market Max. Have you seen? Have you been to the I Harvest think, Market pretty... in Springfield? That is the County Market's like. Totally just blew over my genius idea your genius idea is already being done and they call it harvest market well they should have called it that's in springfield and it's awesome okay. and i i have told we i've interviewed harvest rich market. neiman I think I here and said you need one of those here and he's yeah. like well you know da, da, da. it's great but yeah that, that thing is harvest market's awesome it mm. is it's like a, it's 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 kind of a midwesty scaled down version of whole foods okay and it's, it's right there on Veterans, um, you know, where their old county market yeah, was. I have been there. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 cool. gr- it's a great store. Mm-hmm. It is a great store. Yeah. So so instead of county market, Max, Max. it's Just totally Harvest Market. Brilliant, I think. You know the Max card? Yeah. Well, yeah. It is brilliant. It's brilliant. They but they've the already done it. They just didn't like that name. Damn it. And oh, we also well. need a Haymakers at 36th and Payson Road. I told him that, too. I had him here, and I yeah. said, this is what I need from you. Yeah. And he's, oh, yeah, I guess. That would you know, be a great spot for it. Yeah, because, I mean, the people who have to go out of town that way aren't, you know, I mean, okay, they're going to make sure they have the 20 miles in their tank to get Hannibal. Hopefully. But, they, but they still might need their ice and beer and everything else. And they still might stop there and get that. Yeah, right. Crunchy ice. Yeah. yeah. Chewy ice. Yeah. The, yeah, the one in West Quincy has chewy ice. Hey, the one on um, 24th has chewy ice. Does it really? Yes. Chew, yes. Chewy ice is, is definitely a, good ice. a really big thing. Sonic, good ice. Sonic ice, we also call it our house. Oh, that's what's like. You know, you can buy the bag. You can buy the maker. You can buy the bag at Sonic. Sonic will sell you a bag of chewy ice. Okay. Check this out. But expensive, but they will sell you the bag. So when I was pregnant, it was like my big craving. Are you pregnant now, by the way? Excuse me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. That You've just been ailing. I just thought I'd ask. No, I was ailing. My ear. It was my ear. <laughs> no, God, Bob. Oh, my God. Oh, oh that. My God. Sorry. I'll beep oh. it. No, it'll sorry. beep. Okay. I'll edit. Right. I'll go wow. beep. This anyway. is not going to air until Monday morning. Okay. Anyway. Good deal. Stephen so. Ellen's like. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I wasn't like saying because she looked fat or something. I said it because she'd been sick I have lately. Been anyway, but that's my winner. That's my hibernation weight. Anyway, what I was going to say is so. When and I you're was, glowing. I hate you. <laughs> when I was pregnant, I used to go to Dairy Queen because chewy ice was my big craving. Uh-huh. And I would pay two something a cup. 
every time I went, which was multiple times a day. Two dollars for a cup oh, of ice. It was insane. Okay, but I I was willing to pay it. Okay, the last so day, That's awesome. the last day before I went into labor, I go through the drive through, and the young kid there said, "You know, if you would bring your own cup, you didn't have to pay for this." I'm like, <gasps> "You're telling me now?" Oh my gosh! On the last day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. It was insane. But anyway, that that's it. And no, I'm not pregnant. Thank you. Rumors are going to be flying. So tomorrow morning. What do you when, think the headline of this Club Muddy is going to be? God. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> There's all different kinds of Bob terrible things. God, I love being the editor. I love having the final say in the, the board going. What do you guys. Um, so tomorrow Luster. morning when I wake up to get ready for um, our football game tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. By the time this airs, it was already. If we have already known that USA has beaten. What are we playing? Who? Playing the Dutch? Yeah, we're playing the Dutch. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So tomorrow when I go to get my chewy ice. Yeah. So I mean the game's at nine or eight, eight or nine or something mm -hmm. like that. It, it, it's 9 a.m. But um, where do I go get uh, breakfast? Ooh, I need breakfast sandwiches. Tomorrow morning, where, where do I go? Think where you live. Okay, I'm trying to think of where you're at, the closest proximity. Um, I feel like I have to go all the way to Panera to do Yeah, this. you do. Do yeah. I? Yeah. I, I have to go to Panera. Or you can come down here to Calf Town. They have like breakfast panini thingies. I went to Calf Town the other day with, yeah. uh, I Has Codex started their sandwich thing yet? Oh yeah. Down yeah. here. Where's that? Codex that books. Bookstore. The bookstore's oh, in yeah, the old yeah, Curlins. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. going to start doing like sandwiches Sixth and stuff too. Sixth Street Promenade. David did that story. David, if they started yet? I don't know. He doesn't know. Oh, David knows everything. He didn't do a follow up. Good on up. you. You know what? I'm mad at you anyway for <laughs> talking smack about me while I was gone. Oh. <laughs> He's just over there Jeez. grinning. But David, anyway. I didn't say anything. You're not. You lie you like a dog. He no. said, no. Ah, suck it up. Come yeah. on. You're sick. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so Codex, see if, see if they're doing the breakfast. Yeah. But Calf Town, they have the breakfast paninis. And then. Um, I'd make my own. But Man, the Sixth Street Promenade's really growing. <laughs> just want to point that out. Well, not yet. We need some stuff there. It, it hasn't happened yet. I'm waiting for it. it. I'm excited. It's it's, it's happening. Need trash cans. It's very slow. Trash cans. But it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna quit. Keep on arguing over bike racks. That, that's what we've been doing. Are we doing the Are we doing the outdoor tables with the recessed on the streets, or did that get tossed out? I forget. Um, it. There's a mid block. I like that. There's a mid block. Like that in Springfield. Plaza. Yeah. I outside like that. Maldeners and some other places yeah. there on Springfield the, Sixth Street. The promenade has uh, in the design a mid block plaza in between Horace Mann and One. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. an area there. Yep. That's going to be a really there. There's money set aside to build a destination area for people to come and sit and have lunch. Like those and, parking spot. Well, things? yeah. Like that little area yeah. there. Well, the area. Yeah. So there's um. They're building it to allow food trucks to just line up so nice. everyone can have lines cool. and then sit and eat. Oh, under that'd be great. Oh, that's, that's so awesome. that's what's happening. So that'd be really cool. And then it's electrified and lit. So for musicians, it's electric. Like the yeah, it's electric. So yeah, that, I'm that, gonna, that's what we're doing. That's awesome. But, anyway, yes, the but yes, we're playing the Dutch. Yes. That's okay. going to be really neat. Dutch. Okay. So is this normal? I don't know anything. We already established. I don't know anything about sports, but is it normal for this like these this is not normal. two to no, go head normal. to head. Okay, okay so it's not normal for the U.S. to be this far in the World it's Cup. Not? No, it's not even normal Sweet. that to, for the U.S. to be in the World Cup. Period. Okay, okay, so every so the World Cup lasts for four years. Okay, it takes four years to get to the final. This is the final, and then there's the final of the final. So this is if anyone's confused, I'll just make this really easy. Okay, okay. for all of you non so footballers. Okay, so it's called football or football, but like Americans call it soccer. Okay, it is they're soccer. Very, they're very confused. You know why? Like for example, because we open because we we tied England ball. and we continue to show our even that tie we showed our dominance over England. We did like we always have. Well, which by Going the way, all the way back to the seventeen seventy six when we comment? opened a big can of whoop Does ass. Does England call it soccer or football? I would, it's soccer. Yeah. I'm going to tie this into what you're saying. Okay, so the England game, you know, last week mm -hmm. was really interesting because this the um, national anthem for England was "God Save the King." Yes. Good job, Bob Goff. Did you yeah. point at me like I was going to know that shit? Well, <laughs> okay. it's, it's been God Save the Queen the whole time you've been alive. Oh, has it? Well, because there's Do you know the queen died? Yeah, okay. I do know that. I'm up on that one. You do know Kate Middleton is? <laughs> yeah. Do you know how big her rock is on her No, finger? I don't. Does she have okay. a rock? It doesn't matter. Listen, back <laughs> to like soccer. Your rock. Back, back to soccer. So it takes four years for the world matter. cup to manifest itself okay. and the whole world is playing. There's 130 countries and they go down to 32 teams. And now the United States is in the top 16 teams and they play the Dutch. And the Dutch okay. are very good. Although yeah. the Dutch have the flu. 
Right, David Adam? The oh. Dutch flu? The Dutch have the flu. Like the whole team? The, like half the team oh, sucky. are sick. Can you imagine? And our star player has a pelvic contusion. He got hit in the nads. He said he didn't. He got, oh, That was God, the headline. I, I do that. know that. That he was got the headline. Hit in the nads. I did so, not get hit so in the So tomorrow, balls. we're all going to go over to... Uh, so there's a very famous person who is a director of freshman admissions named Dominic O'Donnell. We're going to go over to his house. Love Dom. And he's going to have uh, Bloody Marys. I invite the whole town of Quincy to go over to Dominic's. Oh my gosh, don't do that. Sorry, sorry Dominic. You haven't given the address yet. Don't do that. You know what? No, no. He would welcome everyone in. He would. He would. He'd be like, oh my God, Murphy. This is, this is yeah, awesome. I was supposed to play an online Stratomatic game tomorrow, but my guy I was supposed to play, he's like, I got to watch the World Cup. I'm like, can't you do both? He's like, no. I'm like, fine, we'll play Sunday. So, for so. all of our listeners that don't care about soccer, I mean, I'm going to um, watch. I care. I just want to say this like, uh, four, four years ago, the United States didn't even make it to the round of 32. So, the United States was not in the World Cup last year, no. even though they, they spent four years trying to get into it. So, it's been eight years, and it's been 12 years, I think, since we've gotten out of like group play. So this and, is a huge deal. And we have a very young team. And I'm gonna have to send you this link of all the different players about where they're from. Yeah, you don't need to send me that. No, check this out. Two are from St. Louis. Yeah, I know, but the rest of them are not even American. What? I mean, like they're kind of American, kind of. It's so are we cheating? Are, like are we baseball are we and every other Are we recruiting sport? like a private the Illinois Americans? high school? <laughs> it feels like that. So in America, like, so America is, con they have complete control of baseball. Yeah called the MLB. They're in complete control of basketball, which is really handball. Football. Uh, they're in control American of, football. of American tackle football. Which is the sport. Which is the NFL. They're in control of hockey, which is the NHL. But FIFA is in control of real football called soccer. And the Americans corrupt, by don't the way. really have, oh yeah, by the way, FIFA Uncovered on Netflix. Oh yeah. Getting ready to watch it. Gonna watch this weekend, as a matter of fact. Okay, yeah. What's FIFA stand for? Foot in? Foot. Uh, international football football. football international federation association association yeah. oh yeah. boy that's a it's one of the crop anyway that's why it's called fifa it's a video game too i have played that great video. That's great you played video fifa wow. uh, yeah i'm a i'm a rock star at video games you guys just don't know <laughs> but hey hey can i ask you a question though like kind of off the subject of soccer <clears throat> yeah please do you think kanye knows that jesus is jewish i think kanye's crazy and you saw he got bounced today, right? Bounce what? Elon. Elon banned him. Elon oh, blocked yeah. him. Elon took him down. Oh, Elon, really? Mr. Free Speech. He's gone. He's gone. Kanye got whacked. Really? Because he started, his, his stuff was even too crazy for Elon. Do you think Elon- That's something. Do you, do, you, do you think Elon suspended him as an act of mercy and compassion? Boy, that would be a. I don't. I haven't seen any of his see? stuff. Did you? He's see? been like talking about Holocaust and Hitler and saying some oh, really? really stupid stuff. See, this now week. I watched one it's thing. Like, come on, dude. I watched one thing and I did kind of agree with some of what he was saying, and it's hard. Hey, oh, stop oh, it! Oh no! no. You don't know what I was watching. You do don't know that. what I was watching. Now listen. He said something about when you're crazy. Daily Money people... host David Adam. No. <laughs> so, he said. Ali when... Koshrad has been canceled from Money for News. No. no. Okay. What Listen, is it? What? It's not just... the anti Semitic. It's not okay. that kind of stuff. I'm okay. not, you know, that I'm not. That's okay. Not he said something when you are, when people are trying to prove that you're crazy, you should probably look at those people. If people are trying to convince others that you're crazy, Gaslight. you should take a look. Exactly. I agree with that. Yeah. So, but he's crazy. He might be. I'm just saying. I did agree might with be? that. I don't know what he's, he's saying. Oh my god! I, I, can't, I can't judge. He's him saying like I don't Hitler know didn't do a good enough job with the Jews. No, he's he all kinds of crap did, like he that. Did not say that. He's not saying that. And okay, you got to take what he you did. hear with a grain of he salt, he unless it's like that. coming from him. Because he's even, basically what he said. Yeah. Okay, but listen, you see the Alex Jones interview yet? I saw it. Okay. Oh yeah, he's wearing the whole. Yeah. Yeah. I I saw it. I'm not saying he's not crazy, but you can edit things however you want, and not everything is as it appears. So you just have to be here. Is the number here's the number one thing he said as to why he got canceled, okay? Okay. He said that every human being, no matter who they are, has value, even Hitler. That, okay, he got canceled for more than that. No, I know, but like that's the number, well, that's what started, like that's the whole, that's what, one of the number one things that, that he said. So, would Jesus agree with that? No. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, of course Jesus, yeah, he would agree Jesus, because he forgives sins, but but Jesus, but, like, is, but where, like, there's got to be a line. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I think the line is is moving constantly. It is. I don't see Hitler going to the River Jordan and getting forgiveness. I just don't see that happening. 
Just like the Baptist. I don't see anything of that going on. No. So he, anyway, he committed. Yeah, no, he was, you know, the worst person in the history of the world for the love of God. I mean, if you can't like well, agree on that, that well, he's okay. I, he's, top, tied, he's in, if he ain't at the top of the list, he's tied with Stalin. He's up there. He's up so, there with Mao Zedong. Yeah. He's Mao up there. and Stalin and, and Hitler. Mussolini and, yeah. 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 And, then, and a whole lot of third world, like a whole lot of third world small potatoes dictators as well. Yes. But I mean, Hitler's usually the gold standard when we talk about evil, vile, whatever. 100%. Yeah, so. but did everybody think he was evil? Because I'm sure there were people who saw value in well, him. Well, yeah, the freaking crazy people who followed him in his cult. So, okay, anybody so who's listening that to this podcast, frame of mind, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna like fix this because either Bob's gonna have to fix this in editing or whack <laughs> the whole damn podcast. Okay, real quick on this, it sh just, it shouldn't go. Hitler, ninety nine point nine 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 percent of everything he did. Nine, from, nine, nine. From, from, from <laughs> that was nine, nine, nine. That was a like perfectly That was so brilliant. Um, from nineteen twenty nine to like nineteen forty six, mostly did a lot of bad stuff. Mostly, mostly, mostly. I make the joke that it's possible that he may have like was driving down the road or or yelled at his driver to try to not hit the squirrel crossing, like, you know, so they did hit yeah. the squirrel. Mm -hmm. That's like probably the only good thing that he ever did. Yeah. But like, he is the worst, or maybe the top three, top five, when you include Mao Zedong and mm -hmm. Stalin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's the top three worst mm -hmm. humans. Pot. Yeah. Pol Pot. Just human waste. He's 100%. Francisco so Franco, yeah. still dead. You have to yeah. look at his body of work, uh -huh. and it's 99.9% absolutely atrocious and there's there's never been anything okay worse but than here now here let's get back to the brass tacks before it ashley like, says another word i'm blaming this on her pregnancy or her <laughs> medication yeah hold so on go second. ahead now say what hold you want because no, 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 now at least i have a qualifier anything that you say uh -huh. you have to be very careful and i'm going to protect no. you here as a friend hold on a second okay. hold on hold on she's All washing right. down her meds with booze and she's pregnant and, so and, and, there you go and i saw you take an ambien <laughs> Yeah. B before this okay. podcast. So we all know joke. that I don't always know what I'm mm, saying or think before. Three I lines move, of Coke off Matt Chuckman's You desk. have to be careful. I know where you're Matt's going Matt's going to be mad you snort his Coke, by the way, but that's okay. Oh, my God. Ashley. This podcast do is not, just. Do not Kanye yourself. No, 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 no. To a point where no, 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 you can't no. come back from it I'm because not. you have to be very careful. I'm not. So okay. here's here's my only question. And this is where you edit. Okay. Uh, this is, this freedom, is of, freedom of speech yes. applies to everyone. Yes. Okay. Elon has the right to ban him, but people have the right to follow him or not. So where do you draw, how do you, I mean, the censorship, you either are for it or against it. I'm and, against censorship. And people's definition of hate speech is different. I've right. always been the, okay, if you say anything that's inflammatory, insightful, the old yelling fire in a crowded theater yeah. thing, that's the kind of stuff that... You There's always do. a line, but yes. like Frankie said, it's it's shifting, and I think that it's becoming more and more dangerous to make decisions like this because you always have to defend one way or the other why it's happening or what. Anyway, but I think the Elon came, you know, he did the Twitter thing because he wanted to give everybody freedom of speech, right? <laughs> So except then, Kanye. except Kanye, which I think is just really, so Kanye, I'm not saying that he's crazy, Ever, I don't, he, whatever he is, he definitely has made a name for himself and you can cancel that, but you can't cancel somebody who's the only person not allowed on Twitter because that people are just going to talk about him more and more, right? That's all I'm saying. Well, maybe there's room for him on Truth Social. We're I don't know. Since he had dinner, him. since he and the Nazi had dinner with Trump, maybe they can get back on Truth Social. Although he made Trump mad because he said he wanted to run for president, wanted Trump to be his running mate. Well, also they were talking about how. Well, yeah, but I, I think they were trolling Trump because Nick Fuente. You talk about Nick Fuentes. Yeah. Like the Nazi. Yeah. So like, and then Milo. Yeah. Was in there some. some yeah. Like Milo came back. Um, yeah. So. Um, anybody who's like listening to this right now and, and is like, what are, what are, what the heck are we talking about? What are we talking about? about? Don't we, even we probably just need to go ahead and tune out. All right, and like, yeah. Like we just mentioned Milo, <laughs> Nick Fuentes, Kanye. This is not a I, local podcast this time. I we decided so. to talk about random well, stuff. Kanye's we'll, interesting. And everybody's yeah, like, it is. What and that's world? fine. And this is yeah. club buddy. We talk about what we want. It's fine. Uh, I prefer we do local record, stuff, but every once in a while we want to go off on some tangents. Record, this is a tangent time. I do not agree with most of what Kanye is saying. If what you're saying is what he's saying. Well, I mean, go. I guess this is where we go back to roundabouts <laughs> on 40th and State. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. So, That's not quick no, how local about thing. Bed, I just hope your child doesn't bed, have fetal yeah. alcohol syndrome. That's all Bob, I, know. I hate you. <laughs> People think I'm on drugs, pregnant, and sniffing Coke off a of Shuck's desk, right? 
Yes. None of that is true. The only true. thing I have to mention working there is the prostitution. I'll do that in a little okay. while. So. <laughs> Good. We can't leave that out. <laughs> well, I mean, as long as you bring, <laughs> as long as you bring a camera, it's porn. Okay. Yeah. Bring a that's camera. Right. That's right. That's right. We camera. have this discussion. Yes. Yep. Yep. And then you're fine. You don't need to worry about it. I'll but, put um, that. So <sighs> what is the most pressing local thing? of the day of the well, week. We, we talked about the Bed Bath Beyond. We talked about the the, the trial, the people who uh, are alleged allegedly killed the, the guy over in Hannibal and beat the crap out of him. They've been in court. David's been following that. Those have been big things. Um, but we didn't talk about why Muddy River is the only, um, why David Adam and Muddy River is the only I, I like, guess we entity covering we care. that. I guess we care and nobody no, else but, does. No, but why? Can I don't I, know. Why does I mean, Muddy River a, cover it's, it? It's, I guess it's a question uh, It's a question of resources, but it's also a question where you decide to is put it? your resources. And if we think this is an important story that we want to follow and it's going to get readership, that's what we're going to do. We're also trying to expand and grow our resources and bring in more people to do these kinds of things. While other local media, I mean, I don't know if you, uh, anybody who follows any, lo any national media stuff, uh, Pointer, and Gannett, or Pointer pointed out, uh, Pointer is a, is a news uh, blog and website that follows uh, media trends. Gannett, owners of uh, USA Today and also owner of many uh, local, any regional newspapers like the ones in Springfield, Peoria, whatever, they're having massive cuts. And another media company was having massive cuts after they've already had massive cuts. And uh, I think it's Has just- Has Gray had massive cuts? Not yet. No, not yet. They have not, and neither, so Sin and neither has Sinclair. So, okay. Okay. Um, but it's not affecting anybody here yet per se. But I mean, eventually, when that ha what we're trying to do is just grow our business, and we try to do it, you know, through banner ads and through people being on our site. And by that, you just try to cover the most. Can you imagine not covering news this possible. story? I no, guess. not this story. I mean, it's no. huge. Five people we, beat the crap out of a guy. Who, yeah, no, and okay. who died? No, it's an it's a very important story. It's insanity, and, and especially in today's environment and trying to keep people, not just report the news, but keep people safe, keep people informed. I, I think it's irresponsible of them not to cover it. And David and I, you know, try to do our best to cover stuff here. And we send David over when stuff's needed over there. And now we're trying to find somebody who can actually cover Hannibal stuff that. for us. Yeah. So Hello. if you want to get into news, we can uh, certainly talk to you. This is what, hey, hey, Bob. This is where Ashley really wants to say, you know, but those five people, they probably do really good things on Sundays. <laughs> no. She's dying. I think no. they were really good. I think they're misunderstood. I think they're, yeah. I think, they're really, think about I think all the Well, I'll go ahead and say that no, there's a stop. reason. No, don't say it. There's a reason that it. they're like this. And it's probably, you no. know, their environment that they grew up in and their whatever. They're, there's a reason. I know it's choices, but there, there are, there are. There's always a background. For example, Sorry. as we try, well, and, and again, I guess to say our own thing, That's we did not, compassion. we did not, not cover the school board meeting this week in Hannibal because of resources, which they show a bunch of people showed up to still be mad at the principal yeah. who posted the social media picture and oh, yeah, she's, yeah, with that. she still has her job. And she is, and again, she, yes, they're letting her, they brought her, she spend her shortly. She came back. She's working now. And we'll see what happens with that. So, so. here's my hunch. Here's my, uh, <coughs> this is my reasoning for why the other news uh, outlets aren't covering because they're like, you know what? Money River is covering it. We might as well give up. I think that's a great reason. <laughs> that's it. Okay. That's it. I they're like, like that. With, I like that. There's, there's no reason. David Adam is all over it yes. and we're going to lose. We're going to lose anyway. So I, I think that's, I'll accept that. Yeah. I'll accept that answer. Okay. I think that's really Perfect. good. But if we want to get real. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. We've done yeah. enough of that. Well, it's, oh. it, it's okay. a lot of, you know, this is a time of year also in media where people take a lot of time off because it's around the holidays and I'm sure they're short staffed. And once these big corporations get to the end of a calendar year or fiscal year, it's like, ah, uh, you've got days, you've got to take your days because we're not going to pay you for your days because we're cheap. So it's like, okay, I got to get my days in. So you got to do that. We kind of have an attitude it's like, take a day when you need a day, we'll do stuff. When we got to do stuff. I, I can tell you right now, I know what, you know, unless, you know, unless a, plane flies into a building or something goofy happens we're not going to be covering news on christmas eve christmas day and stuff like that we just won't be we'll put some fresh stuff in the can and do it that way but speaking of planes yeah new we're getting a new uh, new airline started oh yeah see i thought you were talking about the rail strike where they 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 want 15 oh yeah signals. that's I, another I good thought one that's where you were going okay planes trains and automobiles what's wrong with that okay what's wrong with the what's i mean with i mean 15 days yeah is that? F I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, is that all they're wanting? I think uh, that's the last. That was the last sticking well, point. They don't have. Okay, so they have they, a really weird schedule. I do they, know that they have a weird schedule, uh -huh. and it's and hard work. They're it's mm -hmm. hard work. They're mm -hmm. on call. They get trapped sometimes in 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 like cities far away, uh -huh. and they stay in hotels. They can't come back to their families. Yeah, and there's times. First of all, I do feel bad for them. But everybody picks their profession. They're not allowed to get sick. Yeah, and yeah. and and so 
I mean, people need need sick days. Yeah, I, mean, I have friends of mine who work on it, and it's 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 a. I mean, the money's good, but boy, it's yeah. it's a sacrifice. Yes, I just think you pick your profession, and I can cry about how much I make here at Muddy River, but it doesn't do me any good because I choose made to. Stay. <laughs> yeah. Bob's full of jokes tonight. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but. Yeah, but it, I mean, it's my choice to stick around. I get, I like that they have. <laughs> it was your choice. To stick around. <laughs> I, I like, I like that. Uh, our cruises. It, it was uh, your choice. I like the, I like the fact that they do have the ability to, you know, negotiate and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, yeah, it's a good paying job. I know there are ups and downs for every career, but if you choose your profession, you probably knew that this was you know, kind of the, so yeah. the if you gig, get 15, right? it's, I think it's one of those things where you're, you're a 25 year old guy. You're like, man, this money's great. Yeah. I can do this. Then you have kids. Then you go for 20 job. years. Yeah. And they're like, man, this job's beating the crap out of yeah. me. Yeah. I can't do it anymore. Well, I mean, if you get 15 days of like 15, six days, I don't think that's unreasonable. And you get two weeks of vacation, you effectively have four mm -hmm. weeks, not, not four weeks of vacation. I'm not saying that, but, but 14, like, or I mean, well, but I think they have, have a lot of other days as well 30. that they get, you know, make over time or whatever. I mean, you would think that that would go up, that the vacation time would increase, Does you would it think, accrue? but yeah. I don't know. See, it's I such a know. weird thing because like somebody like who, like, like when the unions came around at the beginning, when, when unions, so there, there was a huge need for unions back in the day. And I'm not saying that there isn't currently a There need. isn't. Well, oh boy. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Kanye. Yeah. Okay, yay. I didn't say anything right. Um, no, but I no, really don't think there is. No. Okay. I mean, we're so not working in like. I will take the opposite side of that trade okay. there. I'll take the, the contrarian. So as, okay. as a person who's not very pro public union, yeah. but I'm okay with, with private unions, I, I'll say that. Is your company unionized? No. Okay. No. And, right. but we were for like a second. Really? Yeah. In the eighties. Really? It was devastating. I've worked for really? both. It was devastating. Union and non-union. Okay. Here, here's the bottom line is you have to, okay. You can be anti-union, mm -hmm. but allow, but want to invoke for the freedom of people to assemble and collect. Yeah. And unionize. Yes. You can't take the, like the freedom away. No, I'm not right. taking the freedom away. You I just think literally they're shitty. be anti-union, <laughs> yeah. but not want to take, take the rights away, which makes no. you kind of like. Wishy-washy. Like, yeah, like wishy washy yeah. pro choice, like no spine. But, <laughs> but so, well, but it goes I back mean, to this. No, it goes back to this. That is the list. Thing. Now I'm Kanye. Like, just See? cancel me now. No, but like this idea of, of, the club, of 15 days sick. sick uh -huh. um, they are doing the art of the deal, Trump style, asking for 15 so they can get seven. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, but what happens to like the cost of everything with unions? That's my only thing. And when I worked for the union, it was a great company, but. A lot of those guys, and as much as I loved them personally, what they used that union for was greed, and it did no good for the actual company, and now that company is gone. And it's not just the union, but it had a lot to do with it, and Illinois, and the, you know, so it's like a lot of it is detrimental to a company, and you know, but then well, I... The, the goal is to be union boss. Yeah. So like, yeah. I'm yeah. pro-union when I'm the union boss. Right. So right. you wanna make me union boss? And like give me all the stuff yeah and like get give me power yeah i'm all for that but if i'm the if i'm part if i'm part of the proletariat and i have to like pay union dues to mm -hmm. the union boss mm -hmm. so he can go back to hawaii and go yeah. back to the keck observatory right like i keep on talking about so you know, I don't think that's a very good. Which, Frank, by the way, Frankie's bourgeois. He is not proletarian. Did you say cuck? I'm bourgeois. You're bourgeois. How dare you, sir? Did you say um, cuckatory? What'd you say? Cuckatory. <laughs> oh, you didn't. <laughs> no, I said okay on the Big Island in Hawaii. Okay. There is something Keck. called the Cack Observatory, and my life dream, okay, is to go <laughs> to the Cack okay. Observatory okay. so I can observe the Milky Way with my own eyes. With my own eyes. Okay. David Adam. That's pretty cool. With my own eyes. You know what that is, right? Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, when uh, Luke takes the, the mask off of Darth Vader. Never son. seen Star Wars. Oh, Never my seen a Star gosh. Wars movie, yeah. Me either. Okay. Now if you want to bring up my boy Blue, you. Dave's all over it. <laughs> anyway, that, that was lost. Well, anyway. 
So we are also, again, Southern Airways is coming in. They started yeah. on December 1st. Go. Next week, they're having a big uh, event that I think we'll be out and talk to their uh, uh, people about. And they're very excited to be here. And hopefully, they'll be better than Cape Air. God knows they couldn't be worse. And hopefully, Amtrak at some point will get its head out of its ass as well. Um, What's up Because that's been Did rough. They- they cut they cut the morning trains here and oh, now they're still okay. yeah it's it's yeah it's, so it's kind of rough oh, like yeah. I said my experience is now everybody's experience but at least now people know it going in I right. guess is the is the big thing yep. so yep yep all right well I think we've done as much damage as we can uh, I'm excited because in 2023 we're gonna have the uh, Ashley's baby naming contest that's gonna be fun so um, and whether it's gonna be a boy or girl or t- if it's, twi- or twins or triplets if it's a girl it'll be Tiffany if it's a boy it'll be Lucifer I I want her yes. to have I want her to have twins <laughs> twin girls to go Whitney and Brittany. Oh. I think it'll be great. Whitney yeah, and Brittany. Brittany. I think I'm just gonna go with Bobby and then that works either oh. way. And then, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Or Frankie. I like the name Frankie for a girl oh. too. So. Yeah, yeah those will be good. Yeah. So there we go. Anyway, thank you guys. We'll see you a little later this week as this airs on a Monday morning. She is not pregnant. We were been kidding all along. Just saying. So. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh. Brittany and Whitney. Muddy River News, our home, our news.